Jeremy grew up with with Bonnie, you know, around. I, I think I think um, uh, Anna, you know, definitely was somebody he loved as well. But I, I think and he grew up with Vicky as well. But I think Bonnie probably was his true love. Okay, thank. You. What are your plans for the future? I guess I don't know. I think um, you know the life of an actor is. An, you know, aimless wander, unfortunately. Um, but again, my grandfather being an actor, there's there there are some blueprint prints that have laid, been laid out before me. Um, but for myself personally, work aside, um, I want to see as much of the world as I can, and uh, and yeah, experience different cultures and and uh, live uh, what we like to call a full life. So you don't want to do movies or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, on the work side, yeah, that's that's the goal. Well, thank you. Hi, Sue. Hey, uh, I want cool to jacket. You. Thank you. Yeah? I wanted to say you, thank you for coming here. <coughs> it's a dream because you are one of my favorite actors. Cheers. And, uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, I always as to myself why we didn't see you at the end of uh, TVD when Delina is, go is going to the house with, uh, uh, with, his, uh, with her aunt and uh, the mother and father, why we, did, we didn't see you? I think, I think it, when the end of that season was filming, I was wrapping up on a show called Chicago Fire. Um, so just schedule-wise, it, it, it didn't time out correctly. Um, so I was unfortunately only able to fly in for a day and make a quick appearance. Um, but uh, but uh, yeah, just work-wise, the, the schedules didn't didn't line up. And I had another question. Can you tell me who was who be the brother in the in this TV show of Alina and who was to work with Alina? Alina? Uh, sorry, what was the per first part of the question? Who was to play uh, with uh, the brother of Alina in the TV show, and then who was to work with Nina the Brave? Um, to play the brother, you know, it was fun. Um, it was fun for sure, and and to work with Nina, Nina, Nina was great. We actually, we were both right before tested for a show called, uh, I mean, for a movie called, I think, Percy Jackson or something like that. So we had met literally uh, uh, right before and uh, and then we ended up both being in Vancouver together so it was uh, it was interesting to to kind of cross paths like that uh, mark a couple weeks after just running into each other thank you so much yeah The fun thing about about Chicago Fire um, for me was that uh, you know you got to I got to meet real first responders and hear their stories and and see how similar storylines affected their lives directly. So like I got to go on a fire truck and go with them to a real emergency. I got to ride on an ambulance and go with them to a real emergency. And and not only that, you know. Um, but talking to some of the firefighters and hearing the way that they reacted to certain specific things that they saw happen, or certain how how actually saving a life affected them there and then, um, you get to actually see that happen. You know, there's no, there's no. You don't only have to rely on imagination. It's it's um, you get to see the the exact effect that it has not only on, on specific individuals, but on, on multiple psyches, you know? Yeah, it's so deep. And like, I feel like when you 
act in such a show, but you don't really like study or see the people doing that job for real, it cannot be as real and as deep as Chicago Fire is. Well, yeah, I mean, it's that's there's there's multiple sides to that argument, you know, because you watch a movie like Star Wars, you know, and and, and that affected that affected multiple generations and continues to do so. Um, more than almost any film, you know? So, uh, I mean, arguably so, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I, I guess it's up to the individual what's more important, the imagination or, or history, patterns of history, you know? Thank you very much. I'll take my favorite part of, of filming is, I think, uh, or my, you, you mean my favorite scenes between the fighting and the friendship um, ones? No, I mean, uh, what was most fun to play uh, when you were fighting? I, I think, I think, I think the balance of the two, where you have to be friends with somebody, even though there's an underlying tension of wanting to fight. Yes, because I recently rewatched from season one, and then uh, every time when I see uh, in the end when you become friend with him, I oh, sometimes I can't remember how it was before, and it was really hard, but we were always speaking on each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it happened that and way. It was fun, and you were great. Oh, thank you. And I loved your part in the. In the I was wondering, um, so you were on the Vampire Diaries, but you were anywhere off. If you could change one thing about your history as journey, what could it be? Um, I, the same as anybody growing up is, I think, any time when when circumstances are out of our controls, we allow ourselves to be the victim. Um, and so I think, from that point of view, uh, to handle things with acceptance and, and fight back a bit more. Okay, and about the storyline? Storyline, uh, well, yeah, that's, that's up to the powers of being, you know. Uh, but, you know, I, that, him being a vampire hunter, I would have loved to, to fight more. I mean, since I box a little bit, I, I think I li I've always enjoyed the fighting stuff. Okay, and um, was it a choice, uh, was it your choice not to be in the last seasons, or just... Uh, it, it, was, it was a discussion, um, but um, I, had, I had been on and off the show for a bit, and, and this time when I was off, uh, another, another job fell from the sky. Uh, and uh, and at that point, I, I was I was somewhere somewhere else. You know, though it was it was circumstance. I think out of out of all of our control. Okay, thank you.